Hello everyone, welcome to the next video. This video is about regulation. So what we're gonna be talking about today is Airbnb regulation. Short-term rental regulation is actually a better way of explaining it. Uh, it's been around for a very long time, but uh, Airbnb and the popularity of Airbnb has made it uh, grow into some areas where they never would have thought there was gonna be short-term rentals. So essentially there was regulation for uh, short-term rentals in vacation spots like Florida. There's a lot of regulation uh, down there. It's been there for decades, but places like you know Chicago, New York, San Francisco, um, because of Airbnb and how they made it so easy for people to turn their homes into short-term rentals, uh, the, those cities have actually had to put in brand new regulation that um, they didn't have there before, right? Now, <clears throat> why am I starting with regulation? Why is step one regulation? I thought this was a, a data process course, right? The thing is, is that I can't skip regulation because you have to know the regulation for your city before you ever get started. Otherwise, you're collecting data on a bunch of places that you actually might not ever be able to do. And I made a huge mistake, right? When I first got started, I went all the way down to Florida and I went from city to city to city, went to seven different cities in one month, literally going from hostel to hostel, driving around, practically living out of my car. And if I had just looked into the regulation first and truly understood what their, their zoning laws and what was allowed and what wasn't allowed, I would have never gone there in the first place, okay? So if you understand regulation, then you can make sure that you're not making the same mistakes that I made and you know a lot of other people have made as well. And then the data that you do collect, it can actually be used practically, okay? So that's gonna be, it's a part of it. You, you don't wanna break the law, you wanna play within their rules, which is a beautiful thing. There's, there's, there's always a reason why these things are set up and they do make sense and it's meant for the community to thrive as a whole, right? So that one thing doesn't dominate everyone else. And so they essentially just state like, you can play here and do short-term rentals, but you can't do it here. And when, once you know that it's perfect because you just don't go there and you just focus all of your effort here. And so it, it, that's why you gotta start with regulation. So I do wanna touch upon it. I do wanna mention a few things. Um, one thing I would say, you know, you gotta go and find the information yourself. I don't have the ability to give you uh, regulation laws for every single city across the United States and the world. Um, but the thing is, is that it's out there. Uh, and if it's not out there, it's because it doesn't exist yet, but maybe people are talking about it. Regardless, there's a lot of different places where you can actually find uh, the regulation for your city. And, and one of them would be, you know, online news articles. Simple as that, that, you know, you can just look up, uh, I typed here in this photo, you can see it says Chicago Airbnb regulations. I just type that into Google and whatever pops up is what I would start to learn about. The most practical one is definitely this point here, number two, Airbnb Help Center. So if you actually go, airbnb.com has this help section where if you type in, um, as you can see right here, where it says Chicago Airbnb regulation. If you just type that into uh, Google, this link's gonna pop up and you can actually open up that link. And on that link, Airbnb has gathered as, the, as much you know information they can from the city uh, about the regulation that they put together. And then they even summarize it to make it easier for you to understand. So it's a great resource to get a quick glimpse and quick understanding, uh, but sometimes it can actually be still confusing uh, and so another good thing is to go to like city websites, uh, state websites to consult a lawyer. I honestly recommend this one, probably the highest out of all, all of these is to, you know, learn as much as you possibly can, but go and talk to a lawyer who actually understands these things extremely well and they can make it simple for you to understand. Like they can, it, I'm not the best at understanding the legal side of everything. Um, and so I always like to talk to a lawyer and say, you know, can you explain this to me? And sometimes they'll do it, you know, free consultation because maybe you'll, they'll end up getting your work later down the road. Um, or maybe, you know, you have to pay them a little bit by the hour for them to break down for you. The good thing about <clears throat> some locations is that they have uh, Airbnb specific lawyers. So they'll actually have a lawyer who uh, just focuses on Airbnb. There's one in Chicago and it's great. You can talk to him and he, he gives you exact information and makes it simple to understand, right? Um, another one is you can ask other Airbnb hosts. This is kind of a good one, but you can maybe get, you know, bad information. And so not my strongest recommendation, but it could get you started with understanding your regulation. Uh, one thing that's not on here, which I just realized is actually going to your city hall. Uh, I wish I put this on here. I, I apologize for it not being there. Just walk to your city hall, drive to your city hall, go in and talk to the lady at the front desk or the guy at the front desk and just say, you know, uh, I wanna to talk to somebody about the Airbnb regulations within the city, who can I speak with? And they're gonna point you to the guy who knows the most or the girl who knows the most, whoever it may be. And then from there, you can actually 
speak to the exact person who, who will be able to give you the information that you, you, you need. So um, that's my strong recommendation. Definitely no regulation before you get started. Like I said, the data is going to be useless if you don't actually understand uh, where you're allowed to play and when you're not allowed to play. And it's as simple as that. All right, let's head to the next video.